Hi guys and welcome to part 2. Uh, this is me installing the next stage of software that I would use. Uh, previously we installed the ASCOM platform and drivers. So now we're going to move on and we're going to install Stellarium and another program which is Stellarium Scope. Uh, these are available, you follow the link. Uh, this is a, a brilliant package, It's for it allows you to navigate the sky, you can see what's going on. I'll, I'll demonstrate it a wee bit whenever I get it installed. So if you follow the link at the top for your chosen operating system, I've previously downloaded it as a reasonably big file. So again, we run as administrator just to avoid any hiccups. Let's check the options here. Uh, I don't see anything that would trip us up. So I primarily would use this program whenever I'm doing lunar imaging and also for some focus and other minor operations. Normally I would let Sequence Generator Pro handle all of my nightly runs, but we'll get to installing that later. So this one will have some sort of prerequisite, l just like the previous ASCOM platform. So just for a quick look, we will load up Stellarium, and you can see what it looks like. It's a very powerful package, it's also free. Uh, we'll flick forward through a couple of hours here until we get to night time, so we can scroll about. Uh, you can do other options like deep space, you can see various targets. Uh, one thing which I will show how to do later on is to load your own custom uh, horizon so that if you have objects in your horizon you'll be able to see them live uh, we can also search so control F moon it will take me in you can zoom in you can pan so it's, it's a great package it's very very good for learning the sky and also for navigating it so the next program then is Stellarium Scope so again just start with the Google with Google Stellarium Scope and then go to the download section. It's a wee bit, wee bit confusing, but you go down to this part and download that file. I'll just run it now. So I'm not going to launch it now. Um, that is essentially it installed. I will maybe do another demo about how to configure it at a later date. Here's guys, guys.